Here we're at the Pima Air and Space Museum with our Fairchild A-10 Thunderbolt II, or Warthog. Um, the A-10 was designed specifically as a tank buster ground attack aircraft. Um, it's one of those aircraft that's kind of has pretty good story. I mean, people either really love this aircraft because it's kind of unique. I mean, they got a titanium bathtub that the pilot's sitting in to protect him. Got a 30 mil millimeter Gatling gun that fires um, 4,200 rounds per minute, which means they can run out of ammo pretty quickly, short bursts. Um, <clears throat> could carry a slew of different types of weapons. And it's been upgraded over the years. These early A models had really kind of limited um, sensors and targeting equipment. It was kind of really kind of brute force. Um, but over the years, they've upgraded them and made them more adaptable for night combat and uh, firing more high-tech weapons. It's an aircraft that, to be fair, the Air Force has often tried to get rid of, um, which is why I think A-10 pilots are kind of a unique breed of pilots because they kind of always feel like they're uh, the ones that the Air Force is, you know, they're not, they're not flying the pointy bass jets and stuff like that. But, you know, in Desert Storm and then again in the Middle East, the A-10 really proved itself. Um, you know, the A-10 was often the aircraft that ground troops would call in specifically when they needed ground support. Sometimes just the A-10 coming in, firing its cannon and quick burst was enough to disperse enemy forces. But, and also here in Tucson, Arizona, we are kind of what they consider the spiritual home for the A-10. Davis Moffin Air Force Base has always been the training base and the big base for A-10s. Um, that has allowed us over the years to you know, foster a lot of good relationships with A-10 pilots. Um, another interesting exhibit we have here is the Bing, which is all the stuff that they brought back from Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. They essentially had their own little pilots club. Um, so all the patches that they would leave and uh, unit uh, memorabilia was brought back here for us to recreate a kind of display of their officers club. So the A-10 here is kind of the heart of our Arizona aviation exhibit for good reason. To learn more about what is on display and what events are coming up at the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson, Arizona, please do check out their website at www.pimaair.org. Mm -hmm.